Well, I haven't actually made any acquisitions in the model steam engine area for quite a while now. But when I saw this come up on eBay, I just had to snap it up. This is an Empire model number B43. And it is a pristine example. It really is. The, the, the base is a little dirty, but other than that, it's, it's fantastic. And the reason I wanted this one particularly was because this one has the pump. This little pump here is designed to put water into the boiler while it's actually running. So in theory, you can keep running this continuously. Uh, it, as I said, it's in excellent condition. It's missing, it should have a small red Bakelite knob like that on the steam valve. It should be on the top of there, but I'm fairly certain I can make one of those up. Other than that, it is, it's complete. And it's a, a very, very fine example of this particular engine. Now the Empire B43 and number 43 engines are quite possibly the most confusing engines in the entire Empire model steam engine range. I have a copy of Don Stilson's wonderful book on Empire engines and it and it and there are so many variations of the B43 and the model number 43. I have a few of them here. This is my original model number 43 which as you can see it has a piston or spool valve as our American friends like to call them and similar size boiler to this one. This is a B43 believe it or not and again this is the one I've recently acquired with the pump on. And as you can see, there are some notable differences. The whistle is in a different place on the boiler. The conrod has a pivot point and a short conrod. This is a continuous conrod on here. And the mounting is very different on this one to this one. Now this poor, poor looking steam engine over here, which is awaiting its day on the, on the workbench for restoration. This is an Emco badged engine. And as you can see, this is an oscillating cylinder, whereas these are small valve engines. This is an oscillating cylinder. Yet this one is known as a model number 43, not a B43. So as I said, it is massively confusing. And even, and as you can see, this one has the same mount as this one, but it has the continuous rod of this one. Now that's normal for an oscillating cylinder. So um, obviously this is actually dis detached on this one, but it's massively confusing. So <laughs> I will be continuous, continuing my hunt for uh, various different variants of the uh, B43, model number 43, and hopefully we can have a, I, can ha I will end up with uh, a reasonable number of examples of the various different types. But anyway, this is the one we're concentrating on today. So let's get it steamed up. Well, I think we've got enough pressure. Uh, let's, uh... Yes, uh, there's obviously nothing wrong with the engine at all. And the heater is providing, the elements providing plenty of pressure. Let's try the whistle. Now the whistles. There we go. Excellent. Well, that's running fine. Uh, the block of wood is there because it tends to rock without the block of wood. But, uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Perfect. All I've done is oil it up, put water in it, connect the power. And it runs a treat. Yes, very pleased with that. Oh yes, yeah, plenty of pressure in there. Now the question is, does the pump work? 
Oh. Oh. Well, it's difficult to tell. <coughs> the sight glass appears to be blocked because I couldn't get any level up on that when I was putting the water in the boiler in the first place. The pump definitely feels like it's drawing, but it's very difficult to do without the handle. So I think we need to try that again when we've got the handle. But uh, certainly the engine runs fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. Lovely. If you can get it down to running that slow, well, it's you know, just perfect. That's excellent. What a lovely engine. What an absolutely lovely engine, but then <clears throat> this is why I like Empire engines. They are they are superb. Just truly superb. Well, <clears throat> it's been running for a while now and the sight glass has started to work, which it wasn't to start with. Slow it down a little bit. And I've been adjusting this nut on the top of the pump here, and I think it's actually pumping water into the boiler now. I'm going to use these uh, burnt Bernard pliers because I'll hold it down with that hand. Now, as, if it is pumping it water in, the cold water will decrease the pressure inside the boiler. It only puts a little amount in any given time. But as you can see, the engine is slowing down. Now, obviously some of the water's coming out here. But some of it is very definitely going into the boiler and, and the, the level in the little cup of water I've got here at the back is slowly dropping. And it is coming up in the sight glass, albeit very slowly. Let's uh, tighten that up a little bit. Yes, the hand pump is actually working. If not, if it is a bit messy, <laughs> <laughs> but it is working. So in theory, with this pump active, you can just keep this running. As long as you've got power on it, it will just continue to run because you can keep topping the boiler up. What an amazing engine. Well, that's it for now on the Empire B43. Just want to do a quick shout out to my foot boy i'm sure everyone who watches my channel knows my foot boy's youtube channel he is currently building an empire b38 hot engine completely from scratch which involves making castings every part of it he is making and it's an awesome project he's done three videos on it so far thoroughly recommend you go and check him out i'll put links in the description to his videos anyway that's it for now thanks for watching cheers